everybody. We're here at the Van Show talking to my friend, Janice Scheffelman. Say hi, Janice. Hi, Van. Hey, so Janice, we want to know a little bit about you. So tell us where you're from. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, I grew up near the campus of SMU, and my daddy was a professor. He could walk to work. Oh, wow. And he also was a writer, which inspired me. Oh, very cool. So <laughs> and, and, the, <laughs> and the subject of our book that we're talking about today, uh, his name starts with the same letter as your name, Van. <gasps> oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is it, hmm. Can you get Vlad? It? No. Uh, it's Vivaldi. Oh, Vivaldi, the composer. The composer, yes. Very cool. Do you have a copy of your book with you? I do. Hey, can you hold it up so the camera I, can see? I will. Oh, there you go. I, Vivaldi. So the whole yes. story, is it about Vivaldi's life? It is, and it's as if he told the story himself. Ooh. So from, from the man's words, his own story. Yes. How exciting. Can, uh, can we maybe hear a little bit of it? You certainly may. And this is the cathedral Whoa. where uh, his father was in the orchestra and they actually let Vivaldi join the group. Oh, really? Rehearsal, yes. Very exciting. And, and, and these, all these illustrations were done by your husband, that, is that correct? Yes, yes. Beautiful stuff. Uh, and here's the inside of the cathedral. Wow. You see that van? Yeah. And the next scene shows he's grown up. He's now 15 years old. And his mother says, it's time for you to begin your studies to become a priest. Even though he already said he didn't want to do it? Well, but mama knows best, right? Well, I guess so. He says, then Antonio says, then I will die. <gasps> there Very was a dramatic. breathless silence. Papa looked me in the eye. You will keep your mother's vow. He turned to Mama. But I understand <clears throat> the boy. Perhaps if he gave up the violin, he would die. Mama's eyes softened. Very well, Antonio, but your studies come first. So do you know uh, Vivaldi's music, Van? Uh, I, so you know what? My mom used to play something called The Four Seasons. Oh, is that, yes. Uh, is that by Vivaldi? Yes, yes and I, we even have an illustration of that scene here. Here are The Four Seasons. Oh. So is this, is this your first book, or have you written more than this? No, this is uh, one of my later books. I have 16 books. 16 published. books? Yes, and many more sitting in the drawer in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Very prolific. <laughs> Excellent. Well, this is so exciting. And, and is this book out now in, in libraries around the country? Yes, it certainly is. Awesome. So you can check it out and at your I local library. I think it's library. at the Austin Public Library. <laughs> Hot dog. Well, cool. Well, it has been so much fun having you on the show. Thank you, thank you for sharing your book with us and thank your you, talents. Man. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I like getting scratched behind the ears. That's nice. <laughs> ah. All right. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the camera and we're going to say goodbye. Are you ready for that? If I can say it in Italian. Oh, yeah. And how, can, maybe we can say it together. What is it in Italian? Arrivederci. Okay. Let's say Arrivederci together. Ready? Right. Here we go. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.